How's it going guys? It's been a while since my last YouTube video. I actually took a break for a little bit from YouTube and uh, from taking photos and stuff there. Took care of some stuff in the personal life, but everything's sorted now and I'm keen to get back into it. So I thought what better way than to start off with a DIY project. I just recently got a client that requires me to shoot some car footage, uh, you know, rollers, stuff like that. And usually I'd hang out of the car with the gimbal. You may recall a while ago on Instagram, I posted the three-legged tripod suction cup mount for the car. And I thought that would be an awesome piece of equipment to use and actually attach the camera to. It's awesome if you do want to film yourself driving or you know someone else in the car. But as soon as you start pointing away from the car, that's when you get the really bad vibrations from the camera and the stabilization just doesn't help at all. So I'm going to head to Bunnings in a second. I'm going to get all the material I need and I'm going to take you through the whole process costs involved, steps to do it, everything you need to know to build an isolation stabilizer. Just wanna say a quick thank you to the two YouTubers that I got inspired to build this from. There was two YouTube videos in particular that I did watch. One of them was very informative, the other was more hands-on to kind of show you how to do it. So I will link both of those in the description below. Be sure to go check out both of their channels and subscribe to them because they were a big help. I don't think it's gonna be a tough build. I think uh, it'll go all right. I'd say maximum maybe three days to do this just because I'm going to spray paint it black and stuff as well just to kind of make it look really nice. I'm going to head to Bunnings now, go grab the stuff that we need and um, yeah, get into it. So. So we've just arrived to Bunnings. I'm gonna head upstairs, jump around in this fucking moon boot. See what we can do. All right, so I've pretty much ordered everything I needed online so far, but I've missed a few things. So I've just chucked a reminder on my phone of what I needed to get. And pretty much what I need is a cutting disc, another metal plate, because I think the one I ordered just wasn't enough. Some more rope grips, um, wire insulation and drill bits. So we're just in that section now. We're going to find all that kind of stuff. All right, so we've got the metal sheet. I've actually returned, I'm going to return the one I bought um, just because it's too thin and the one I've just seen is perfect. So metal plate done we've got the rope grips they didn't have any five mils left so I had to get six mils but we'll just work with what we got um, I do still have five of the packets of the five mil ones yeah all right we've got the drill bits and the wire should have insulation on it we'll go check that now when we go to cook the flex so let's go do that Guys, so we've just arrived back from Bunnings. I'm just getting set up at the moment, as you can see. There's a bit of shit on the floor, so I'm just gonna sweep that up. I've got the lights set up here, and it has started raining, but the clouds are a pretty nice diffuser at the moment, so. Good GoPro set up for a bit of a time lapse. Gonna make some notes and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, let's get into it. guys so I've got everything laid out I've got the ratchet straps for just an extra safety kind of tie down mechanism just in case the boots of the suction cups fail so I've got eight galvanized wire rope grips um, so they're, they're gonna hold the wires in place um, I bought a, a metal file some cutting fluid just so I don't fuck the drill bits um, I've got the metal sheet itself um, I bought an angle grinder because I don't have one I've already got a power drill yeah, so I've got the one fourth nuts and bolts. So that, that's your standard, um, you know, your tripod mounts. And for the other ones, which is the larger tripod mount for, you know, bigger cameras and gimbals and stuff like that, that's gonna be used to actually connect the 
the plate itself to the the suction cups, uh, you know, the, the tripod setup. So I've also got some black spray paint just so I can make it look really nice. Um, I got the galvanized wire rope. This wire rope I got did not come with insulation on it. I know one of the videos I watched, um, he bought one with insulation on it, which is really good. So you want the insulation um, just so if water gets in it and stuff and the galvanized starts to go away over time, it doesn't rust. So what, I'm, what I've actually done is I've bought some heat shrink, uh, which is electrical heat shrink they used to use on wires. That way I can actually customize it to whatever color I want. So I've just got some black heat shrink. So I'll wrap them in the black heat shrink once I've put everything on. Apart from that, everything else um, you'll need is just pen, paper, an iPad, whatever you've got to write stuff down. And I've also just got a measuring tape as well. So I'll start marking up the, the plate and everything and yeah, I'll just take you along with me, show you how to do it. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so now we've pretty much just got to measure out the different cups. So the first step of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these two sheets into two equal pieces. So this sheet of metal itself is 60 centimeters long by 30 centimeters of depth. And the actual plate itself so this is a two mil thick yeah, aluminium tread plate. Anyway, so I've marked out the first line. We're gonna cut down here, should be our, our half point. Um, just make sure when you do this, make sure you're always double checking your markings. You wanna cut through and then figure out that you've gone over 10 mil or something like that because it can really throw off the whole project and then you have to go back to Bunnings and buy everything again. So let's double check that. 60 centimeters, halfway is 30. Really helps if you get a fucking ruler. So once we cut this up, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll start to measure out where we're actually gonna put the wires. I'll get to cutting this, uh, open up the new angle grinder that I bought, I'll put the plate on and yeah, we'll get back into that. All right. Make sure you clean up those edges because they're gonna be very sharp and very rigid. Just on the edge there, they're really sharp. You just wanna get rid of that. Easiest way is just to get a metal file. Going off the measurements from before and what they should be, this should be a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter plate. So if you can actually go and buy plates, that if you find some that you can get custom cut by Bunnings themselves, or if you know someone selling custom cup plates, then just so much easier just to buy two 30 by 30s. We wanted four on each side. So four here, four here, four here, four here. Um, so now we need to figure out an even four lots. So we'll come in a little bit from the edge. So what we're gonna do is we'll draw up our square just on our paper here. So I want to at least take five mil off the edge of each. So we've got 20 centimeters to work with across here. So we finished drilling both the holes in both the different plates. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this base plate here and I'm gonna drill a hole directly through the middle, uh, which will connect straight up to that tripod mount. This one is a 9.92 mil drill bit. Um, so I'm just gonna drill straight through the middle here, just quickly measure it out. And then that'll allow me to mount it straight onto there. So, so because this is 30 by 30, same deal again. Find 15 of right there. Perfect. So that'll go straight on there. Um, and then obviously the next plate will go on top with all the wires connected. This is the, um, the base plate for the gimbal. This actually came with my gimbal um, when I bought it secondhand. So the previous owners obviously sourced this from somewhere. I'm not sure where they do come from 
but I'm sure they wouldn't be hard to find. Just Google it. So um, that's just a Ronin M mount. I've got the bolts for those, but we're just gonna drill two holes on the other plate so I can mount that straight onto there. I'll quickly measure out the middle and where we need this. Right there is the middle. Down there for now. So yeah, as you can see, two little holes there, right in the middle. That's where we're gonna drill. So I'll chuck that back down here. So I've cut this one here. This is kind of like a bit of an estimate. Um, I'm not really sure how, how long to go for these. So I'm kind of just gonna be winging it a little bit. I just went and got a blowtorch. You don't need one of these. Um, a lighter will do just fine. What's going on guys? So we've just returned to day two. So we finished up the plates down there. I've sprayed all of the wire grips and I've also insulated all of the um, wires themselves as well. So um, the next step is got to head to Bunnings now, um, grab another 16 of the wire grips because somehow I miscounted. And the H4 and H8 bolts I got were the wrong size. So I actually have to go and get the, the right size of those. So I'll be heading there now to go pick them up. And then yeah, once I get back, we'll get back into it, we'll start assembling it, and we should be able to put it on the car this afternoon and test it out, so I'll, uh, I'll see you when I get back. So, um, what you wanna do is you wanna be going top down. So these will go here, like that, um, going through, and then these will be screwing down underneath, like so. All right, so. I won't fully tighten them up just yet because we'll get the um, get the wire rope, one of these, and we'll chuck it through there. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. That took two days, um, a lot of fucking around, especially with the moon boot on, so. In the end, we did get there, we did get everything done. I've got it spray painted, so I'm very happy with the outcome. So I'm gonna do a test tomorrow and try it on the car and see how we go. I think it's turned out pretty well, so I'll put all the price list and everything up as well. Definitely recommend trying it yourself if, uh, if you're looking into it, because it's not that hard and it's definitely worth saving, you know, 800 to 1,000 dollars, so. Yeah, pretty much gonna wrap it up there, guys. I'm gonna pack up, clean up, and um, probably head to bed. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna start doing more of these DIY type things. Uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. But all in all, good job. Thanks for sticking with me guys. I'll uh, see you in the next one.